I'm Mike Lowe for Digital Camera and this is our review of the new Fujifilm XS1 which is a super zoom but super zoom with a difference. The main thing that separates this camera from a traditional super zoom is the size of the sensor. The XS1 has a 2 3rd sensor compared to the normal 1 over 2.3 inch sensor that you'd find in other cameras and that means it's got over twice the surface error by comparison. We're going to look into more details of what the XS1 has to offer. One of the XS1's most prominent features is its lens. Like any super zoom, it has a pretty sizable lens, and this one can extend from 24 all the way through to 624mm. It perhaps doesn't reach as far as some other super zoom cameras, but this is on account of the sensor size. At 2 thirds of an inch, it needs to produce a large enough image circle in order to cover the sensor. The lens itself has a metallic barrel build, and it has a manual zoom ring, as you can see here, behind which is a manual focus ring. Inside the lens there are top quality optics and the aperture blades are also rounded to have a more subtle and soft bokeh effect. The manual focus ring itself is very smooth in use and to activate it you simply need to click the focus switch that's on the camera here and that jumps between manual continuous or single autofocus. On the back of the camera as well as a 3 inch LCD screen that's mounted on a tilt angle bracket there's also a 1.44 million dot electronic viewfinder now this is particularly different to that found in most super zooms. It's uh, 0.47 inches in size, has a 100% field of view, and uh, it's just much more comfortable to the eye and produces a much larger and brighter image than you'd find in any other super zoom. In fact, it's the same as that you'd find in the Nikon V1, for example, so the quality here is significantly better than you'd normally have. The main modiles are made out of metal, which gives them a really solid finish. And on the modile here, you get all the range of controls, which varies from auto through to advanced and all of the manual options that you could think to shoot with. There's also the Fuji EXR mode which allows you to shoot at 12 megapixels in full resolution or 6 megapixels for a high dynamic range mode and also 6 megapixels for a uh, low noise mode. In terms of use the XS1 is a lot like a DSLR partly down to the lens but also the arrangement of buttons and function buttons. Its overall size as well is actually very similar to DSLR and this Canon 60D here looks almost exactly the same size and that's part and parcel of what comes with having a large sensor and a large lens in one overall package. In use and the XS1 has some advances over a normal super zoom. It's got a 49 area focus system and it's possible to select from any of these focus points in the single AF mode and you can even resize the main point between five different sizes from small to medium. The focusing mode is pretty quick in order to obtain focus, but it isn't without its problems. As per the HS20, which was released last year, uh, at the full extent of the zoom, sometimes the live feedback on the LCD screen will pause and stop giving you proper feedback in what you're trying to focus on until the focus has been attained. And by that point, sometimes the subject can have disappeared out of the screen, which makes it difficult to shoot certain subjects in certain conditions. One of the other advantages in use is the electronic viewfinder, as we've already spoken about. You can turn it on either by using your eye approaching the viewfinder itself, or there's an EVF and LCD button that leaves either one dedicated to being on. There's adapter adjustment to surround the side, and when using the viewfinder, the uh, image stabilisation system really comes into its own, particularly at the long focal length. You can really feel the stabilisation system holding the shot steady. One of the other strong features is the inclusion of a macro mode that works as close as one centimetre away from the lens. This does extend to two metres when you extend to the full 624mm, that's still not too bad, and even at around 350mm it's possible to focus 70 or 80 centimetres away from the end of the lens. The XS1's larger sensor goes a long way in improving overall image quality in regards to image noise. It's really reassuring to be able to shoot at ISO 3200 at the full extension of the lens and know that the image will be of decent quality. In fact, we'd say the XS1 has better image quality and lower noise than any other super zoom camera out there. That won't quite beat the majority of compact system cameras. However, an ongoing issue as found with the Fujifilm X10 sensor is where specular highlights are rendered as hard-edged white orbs. It's an issue that only rears its head in specific circumstances. Points of light such as lamps in nightscapes or some reflections from reflective surfaces in bright sunlight can, they won't always pose a problem. If you're a stargazer or night photographer, then this sensor may not be the one for you. There is a firmware fix update that's anticipated to come out in the coming months, though whether this will eradicate the problem in full is as yet unclear. Overall, the XS1 addresses a lot of issues that other super zooms had. The electronic viewfinder, for example, is excellent to have here. 
the zoom lens is great to use and the range is still pretty significant. The overall image quality as well, although one or two issues are present, is fantastic and far better than any other super zoom that's out there on the market. The main downside really is the autofocus system that while very quick in most circumstances does suffer at the long end of the zoom and won't compare to that of a phase detect DSLR system which is often far far quicker. As well as this the £700 price tag is quite significant but then saying that anything with a similar lens size whether on a DSLR or compact system camera would cost far more money so actually the XS1 is far more shrewdly priced than it may first seem. Overall we gave the XS1 89% and a recommended award.